Yo, this is the Playtronica Touch Me MIDI controller. It is a very interesting MIDI controller to say the least. In the box, we have a micro USB cable for MIDI and power. We also have two alligator clip cables. We'll get into that later. We also have some stickers. These are pretty cool. There's like 13 of them included. So that's a pretty good deal. And last but not least, the controller itself, the Playtronica Touch Me. Now, at first glance, it may seem just like a circuit board with some LEDs, some contact pads, a USB port, and well, that's exactly what it is. Before I show you how this works, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, do all that stuff. Thanks. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in the TouchMe controller. Boom, we got some lights. Now as I grab both ends of the controller, you'll see how the LEDs move based on how I'm interacting with these two contact pads. What's happening here is the TouchMe controller sends an electrical signal through one pad, a very low and harmless signal, through one pad, and that pad is then connected to my hand, and the signal travels through my body in, in this scenario, and then it's received on the other side of the controller through my other hand. The controller then measures the resistance of the signal, or how how much of the signal made it to the other side and that determines which note is played. Now I'm going to enable this e-piano track I have just to show you what it sounds like. Now all I did was rub the controller in different ways, but the different ways that I was touching these contact pads created different electrical signals for it to interpret. Now the notes being played were in the C major scale, and I know that because this top row of LEDs, the green ones, determine what your root note is. So we have it on C at the moment, and the bottom row of red LEDs determines the scale. All the scales are labeled with these symbols that I couldn't really make sense of at first, but luckily Playtronica has a thing on their website that tells you which scales are which, so I'll leave a link to that in the description if you need it. I'm just going to use the major scale for now, but they have Dorian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Minor Pentatonic, Major Pentatonic, Blue Scale, and to change the scale or the root, it's pretty simple. So we have these four contact pads next to the main ones, and they just toggle through uh, the two rows of LEDs. I'll just put it in D minor for now, D being this third LED, and minor is the second red LED. Now you may have noticed that this isn't sounding too musical, and that's because we're missing one critical music element. And that would be, yes, you guessed it, rhythm. Wow. But since this is a MIDI controller, we can just quantize it or use an arpeggiator. And if you don't know what either of those things are, leave a comment down below and let me know if I should make a video about them. But for now, we're just gonna use an arpeggiator. But all you need to know is that it'll play whatever notes we give it in whatever subdivision and pattern that we provide. Since we're not playing chords, I'm just gonna have it play the notes in whatever order they're given, and we'll start with eighth notes. Here's what it sounds like with 16th notes. And I have it set to 160 BPM for anyone wondering. So now we're getting more musical, which is good, but let's hear how it sounds with a drum beat. So it's starting to get pretty cool, but how can we utilize its unique interface a little bit more? That is where these guys come in. Remember how I said it sends electrical signals through your body? Well, that's because your body is conductive. So that means anything that's conductive will work with this. Things such as metal, water, plants. So I couldn't get more than like three or four notes out of the plant, and I guess it's just not conductive enough, but things that are watery, you know, like lemons.
All you need to do to do this is to connect an alligator clip to one of the pads or both, and then you can just connect the other end to whatever it is you're connecting to. I'll just do that. So you may have noticed it came with two alligator clip cables, so that means... Don't spill. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have a bowl of water. Water is very conductive. That makes it the perfect candidate to run electricity through it. Fun fact, with these alligator clip things, you can always pull back the insulation so that more of the metal is exposed. But you know, it's there for a reason, so. Now I'm just gonna hook it up the same way I hooked up the lemon. Connect one end to this contact, just, okay. Drop this into there. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> I believe things like this is where this controller really shines because how else can you make music with lemons and water? So that's my quick look at the Playtronica Touch Me MIDI controller. Thank you so much for being here. I have links in the description, a Patreon, and this video would have been on there, you know, a week before today if you're watching this when this came out. So you might as well support the channel and get stuff, you know, win-win. Like I said, I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.